Is it stinky? Shut up! Cartoons. You're watching PDA. Hello, my name is Dr. Michael W. Hollingsworth, and welcome to Nature Break. What can I say about myself? I'm in my early 30s. I live in London, but I'm originally from Liverpool. I'm looking for a woman who wouldn't mind settling down in a no-strings-attached relationship. What's wrong? Was I supposed to say a prayer or something? I... I can't eat any of this. What do you mean? Ryan, you know I have food allergies. I do? Yeah, and this pizza is definitely off the menu. It's just dough and cheese. Yeah, dough? The silent killer. I'm gluten intolerant. Gluten? Yeah, I can't tolerate it. Okay, so just eat the cheese. Well, I also have lactate intolerance. I think it's pronounced lactose intolerance. Yeah, I have that too, but I'm also lactate intolerant. I can't stand seeing women breastfeed. So no dairy. From cows, but I can drink pig milk. Pig milk? Who drinks that? I also cannot eat Philly cheesesteaks. Well, yeah, of course, because the bread and the cheese, I get it. No, I, I hate Philadelphia. You ever been there? Those people are the worst. I'm also allergic to peanuts. Walnuts and cashews, too? No, 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 not peanuts. Peanuts, the comic strip, with those little kids talking like adults, it's creepy. I also can't stand Family Circus. Just draw your comic in a square like everybody else. Why don't we just climb in the garbage and see I what we- I can't eat yellow food, also. Like bananas and corn? How, how's that an allergy? Well, it's not. I just think yellow clashes with my complexion. All right, all right, all right, look. What do you say we just skip lunch and we'll go grab a cold one? Oh, I can't even hear the words cold one. Uh, someone give me an happy pen. I'm, uh, I'm gonna swallow up. I should mention, it's not a big thing, but due to a childhood mishap, I'm hairless on my right side. Head, eyebrow, and the rest, completely smooth. Also, I'd like a girl with a big round butt. I wish guys today dressed like they do in Mad Men. Maybe we wouldn't have so much unemployment if people dressed like they had a job. <laughs> yeah, instead, boys look like they were inside the mall when it exploded. Oh, this guy rolls up to me at a bar last night. He's wearing a tap-out shirt. What's that? It's the official clothing of MMA, mixed martial arts. Wait, but isn't tapping out what they do when they lose? Yeah, exactly. He was a loser. MMA naming their shirts tap out would be like the NFL naming their merchandise fumble. <laughs> yeah, or the NBA calling their clothes air ball. <laughs> or tennis calling their clothes double fault. Or hockey calling their clothes loss in overtime. Or baseball calling their clothes baseball. Ouch. Well, you all know how I feel about baseball. It's just so damn boring. Or soccer calling their clothes... No, 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 Emily, enough. We're done with the list. Oh, okay. Or uh, how about those guys in the Ed Hardy shirts? Oh, I would argue it's the same guy as the tap-out guy. Well, they're closely related, but it's not their shirts that get to me. It's all that Axe body spray. Is it stinky? It smells like they sprayed energy drink all over their body. Oh, you know why they need to put on so much cologne? Those Ed Hardy shirts are covered in sequins and glitter, and those meatheads have no idea how to wash an article of clothing like that without destroying it. So they just have to keep spraying on more and more Axe body spray to cover up all the B.O.? You got it. How ironic. If they could just land a girlfriend, then she could teach them how to wash delicate items. But he can't get a girl because he dresses like a douchebag. I heard on the radio that there are more tigers on t-shirts in New Jersey than there are real ones left in the wild. Yeah, I disagree with their findings. I think that New Jersey should be considered part of the wild. And most importantly, no pets. I simply hate animals. If I have to sit across the table on a first date from another woman wearing a sweater covered in cat hair, I'll go mad. So, send your dating inquiries to this station. I look forward to meeting you. Until then, I've been Dr. Michael W. Hollingsworth, and thanks for pulling over to take a nature break. Nature Break is made possible in part by the Rover B. Barkley Foundation. We swear we aren't a charity entirely run by dogs.